Yo guys, what's happening? Be here with a tutorial video on how to add linear white transitions to your YouTube videos to make them oh so sweet. Uh, so here I'm using Adobe Premiere CS6, guys. You can do it, I believe, in the other versions, and I'm sure you can do it in Vegas. But this strictly CS6 because that's what I use. Um, I have an Arc Survival Evolve video already recorded, and I need to edit it. So you're kind of seeing behind the scenes as well, which is kind of nice. Um, but I have this extra long video and you don't upload that because there you can see here down in the corner or right here in this section that there's long sections where I don't talk um, that's because either I was going to collect items uh, in Minecraft you're building and you want to bring people back mid build you know so you transition to a next scene because it's a little bit nicer than just having this long drawn out video that has no voiceovers no sounds it's just literally some dude hacking at some wood now i have all of my audio down so you're not going to hear the audio um, because i haven't done any editing to that yet which i need to do um, but here we go i'm going to delete all that section that i have and i'm going to bring this section of the video that i just cut over here uh, you want to bring it up to another layer um, because if you just linear wipe it uh, from here it'll look kind of weird you'll have the black screen you want to actually bring this video uh, you want to extend it just a little bit under the top video. That allows it, when it does transition, to keep part of the video underneath so it looks like it's a layered effect. And I just hit my mic. So that's a that's a YouTuber 101. Don't hit your mic. Uh, it's, it's a tip from B. So we're going to go in here. You can see that I don't talk for a little bit. So I'm actually going to bring this video and edit it just a little bit more. And we're going to bring it right up against this um, and I'm thinking right there because I didn't I didn't cr properly crop it. Um, you know what? I'm going to leave it like that. Uh, so now what we want to do is we want to add the linear wipe. So if you go to your effects down here in the left corner, you click the effects tab. You can't see it because my face is covering it. But there you go. There's the effects tab right there. Um, you're going to click on that. I'm going to shrink myself. Ah, I'm shrinking. Uh, you're going to click that. And there's, you can type out linear or lin or whatever. Here's linear effects under transitions. You want to drag that effect onto your first video. Line up your, your cursor, your play marker, uh, to the beginning of the video. And you want to add a swoosh um, or not. You, It's depending up to you. Now, I've downloaded this swooshing effect royalty-free somewhere. I can't remember where it is. But I'm pretty sure you can find one on the YouTube creator page. You can also find them throughout the internet and depending on which one you want um, go and check it and download it and use it uh, so I'm gonna bring this one in this is the one I use on audio channel 4 because I already have it set up and I'm going to line it up with the video uh, so you can see here the video and the audio are lined up and now that the everything is cool we're gonna go to the effects control tab in the upper left hand corner and you'll see linear wipe uh, right here uh, click the little stopwatch that actually toggles the animation to begin and you can see if I was if I didn't have this on let's just say I didn't have this on if I played the video it would just kind of jump to the next one right and I don't want that I want it to actually have a nice transition and not something like that so we're gonna do here and we're actually going to place this at a hundred Okay, so you, what 100 does, it actually takes it away. And then fast forward just a little bit until we start to hear the swooshing sound. And then we bring the video in. Uh, so now if we play it, that video and the swoosh is in and transitions in. Now you can do it a little bit longer. That one's a little quick. Um, sometimes the quicker, the better, the slower. You don't really want to slow transition or it drags on. Um, because it won't match the sound and it kind of looks weird. Uh, what I'll do is I'll actually show you this again on the other side because I need to do another swoosh uh, right about here. So you can see I stop talking, give myself a little bit of leeway, and then we'll bring it all the way up to this section here when I say goodbye to everybody who watched the video. Uh, we'll delete that section where I don't talk bring this in and just extend this bit a little 
and we're going to do the exact same thing. Go to the front of the video clip, uh, right, right here, and we're going to add another swoosh to audio four, so that when it does actually transition, there is a sound. Um, now we're going to add another. Uh, linear wipe to the exact same video clip and that's fine you can add pretty much as many as you want I don't know why you would add more than two but you can I mean there's only a beginning and an end to a video <laughs> so it doesn't wouldn't make sense so right now you can see if I if I played this there's no there's no wipe until like over here but I want the wipe to happen so I'm gonna click this click on leave it at zero so it's in reverse and you're gonna keep going a little bit into the video right about here a couple seconds and then have it transition to the next clip so now you can see you can see how slow that one was so I'm actually going to I'm going to change that I'm going to take out the keyframe I'm going to do that all over again there isn't a simpler way to do that but I like to do it this way that way I can start from scratch uh, we're gonna start at zero not at 50, start at zero, and we're going to bring it in to about here, I think. That might be good enough. That might be too fast. Um, we'll try it right here. So right to 100, play. And there you go. We have two transitions with solution sounds in the video. Hopefully you guys add it and it helps you out a bunch if you needed it. Uh, definitely leave some comments down below if you want to know anything else about Premiere. Uh, anything else I do audio wise, I'll show you guys. It's, it's not a big deal for me, even if you want to see the DX story uh, stuff that I do use. Take it easy, guys. I hope it helps out again. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.